momentum. We know that momentum is mass times velocity. So we have the formula for momentum, and what we want to look at is conservation of momentum. With conservation of momentum, we say that all the momentum before is equal to all the momentum afterwards. That's what this little symbol here means, afterwards. So the total before, if I have two cars moving, they have a certain velocity each and a certain mass. So I add them up, I have a certain amount of momentum. After they collide, no matter what happens to them, the total of the momentum afterwards for each object is going to equal the total of the momentum that was there before. And we can use that to calculate final velocities and things like that. So if I start with the idea that the total momentum before is going to equal the total momentum afterwards, I end up with this equation if I'm talking about two objects. If I'm talking about three objects, then there'd be more on this side and more on this side. But what is the total? Well, let's say I have two cars here. This car is going to collide with this car. It's two kilograms moving at three meters per second that way. This is six me four kilograms moving at six meters per second that way. So if I look at what do I have before? I have the mass and velocity of A before plus the mass times velocity of B before. That makes up the total before. Afterwards, they're going to bounce off or join or something. I have to account for the uh, cart A and cart B. Now, with momentum for simple collisions, there's really only three things that can happen. The two objects can collide and they join together, and that's what I'm going to do first. The two objects can collide and they bounce off each other. That's what we we'll do second. And the third one is, we can talk about something different than a collision like this. We can talk about an explosion where something explodes and one piece goes that way and one piece goes the other. We're really dealing with linear momentum, objects moving in a straight line. Later we'll have videos where objects collide and they bounce off at angles. The theory is the same, but some of the math is a little different. So let's take a look at this one. Well, I've got my formula here, and I just have to account for everything before and everything afterwards. So MA is 2 times VA, which is 3, and it's forward, so that's positive because positive is forward. Uh, B, it's 4 kilograms times, and in this case, B is moving backwards, so that 6 has got to be negative. Afterwards, I've got to account for the 2 and VA afterwards, plus B, which is 4 kilograms, and VB afterwards. Here's where there's a problem with momentum. I have only one equation before is equal to after, conservation of momentum. But I have two unknowns. So we have to do this a little differently. In this case, the two carts come together and they stick together. There's some mechanism where when they collide, they go off as one. So that's my first type of problem I said I was going to do. So if they both move at the same velocity afterwards, then this and this are both the same. I could call it VAB afterwards if I want. There's different ways of doing it. I could substitute VA afterwards in here, and then I'd have two of the same. But basically, these two are the same thing because the objects are joined together. So I got 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24, so minus 24 equals, since these two are the same velocities, I got 2 plus 4 VAB. The two masses are joined together and they travel with one velocity. So 6 from 24 is negative 18. And this is 6VAB afterwards. So 18 divided by 6VAB afterwards is equal to 18. Negative 18 divided by 6 is negative 3 meters per second, which we can say VA afterwards is 3 meters per second. And since I didn't use east and west, it's left, it's negative, so it's backward. And VB afterwards is also 3 meters per second backward. So that's the first type of problem, where they join together. That eliminates this problem. Let's try a different problem where I, they don't join together. 